Hi again, just wanted to do an update on the motorcycle sim rig. Uh, this is a mock-up I've made out of some uh, three inch PVC pipe. Uh, this is not what the final product will look like. This was just to get some dimensions and make sure everything was gonna work. Uh, once we're off quarantine, I'm gonna end up buying some steel, make an actual motorcycle frame, put a fairing, a mock fuel tank and some rear set pegs on it. Uh, I'm using the Thrustmaster Freestyler bike handlebars that were originally made for a PS2. But if you use a uh, Brooks Super Converter, you can use uh, PS2 peripherals um, like these handlebars on uh, PS4. These are the uh, game elements, Yamaha MS1s. They work as well. Um, once you get these handlebars up and running, you can use them on um, Isla Man TT. MotoGP, you can use them on any of the ride games, um, so they're pretty good. Um, it's cut, I've got all these cables because right now um, I've got my sim rig has a PS4. Uh, this is my flight rig. This is my Formula One rig. Sorry, I'm shooting in portrait mode, but in a minute I'm going to show you how to use the handlebars on the um, Isle of Man game, so you can kind of see how they work. Um, I'm refinishing my game room down in the basement, or I shouldn't say basement, but downstairs. And uh, I've got a uh, PS3 based um, arcade cabinet I built. I bought some fighting sticks for it. And so kids can use it as an arcade cabinet and they play Mortal Kombat and stuff. I also have a PS3 hooked up to this because when I have friends come over, um, I have a couple of Driving Force GT wheels I have on some wheel stands and we can line up next to each other on the PS3 game uh, Grid Autosport and do some drag racing and stuff. So it's kind of fun, you know, because we'll get a bunch of people over. Everybody will have a chance to, to race each other best two out of three. So I'm going to get on the bike. I'm going to kind of show you. Um, it's going to be a little hard to see, but you can see when I use the directional arrow, it changes the view. I usually race in helmet view or cockpit view. Here's kind of a close up. Um, let me just go here. Uh, as you can see, the throttle, when I twist the throttle, the bike moves forward. I'm going to the brake works as it should. Um, you can set these up to counter steer. Uh, these, this um, Thrustmaster actually has a switch that goes from motocross to GP. So with GP, you just lean. With motocross, you actually turn. So that's the nice thing about the Thrustmasters. Um, the brake is, again, the brake, you can see as I'm squeezing on the brake, it's making him kind of kind of come up. You can use the clutch to shift. Um, what I do is I have L1 for downshift. I've got the R1 for upshift. Um, if you hold the clutch in, as you'll see, if you've crashed or you've gone off course, you can just kind of use it to have them walk the bike backwards. So it's pretty easy to use. Uh, I'm not really going to race. I'll just kind of go up here. There's, I know in the video, it may look like there's some lag, but it's really not as bad as it looks. I have it set up for automatic right now, just so I can film. Whoops. As you can see, it's kind of hard to film and uh, Stuff. But anyway, if anybody has any questions, it's kind of fun using the handlebars versus a controller on these kind of motorcycle games. Thanks. Bye.